Hi Paige, thanks for uploading your Illustrator file. It was interesting for me to play with it. I think you did a great job with your uh, gradient mesh on the banana. I recommend zooming in real close and and uh, deleting some of the sharp points because of course apples are very smooth. I wouldn't delete the edges like you've done because I think those are perfect but like this edge, this edge, this edge, see what you can do to smooth that out. It's a little hard. This is why I was zoomed in so tight when the movie started because it's a little difficult um, editing after you add the gradient mesh. Like you want to get rid of anchor points or smooth them out, but they get they seem to get kind of confused with the gradient mesh points. So as you zoom in to um, delete them, you're going to get this message a lot. So it will be incredibly frustrated, so frustrating. So instead, I would just sort of get in there and hand tweak the points, you know, or do it again, which I probably wouldn't want to do either, but just get in there, smooth them out, make them behave. All right, so no hard edges on the bananas. The other thing I recommend is um, not using the gradient mesh tool on the apple or the grapes because it creates a lot of um, shadowing that'll make either the grape or the apple look a little more flat or sort of bruised. Instead, just use a simple uh, radial gradient. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I do think these grapes are beautiful. They're very painterly. Looks like you used a brush. But are they cylindrical? Not necessarily. So let me uh, show you what I mean by that. Okay, so here's a circle. You could call it our um, grape circle. And here's the gradient tool. It's um, really an unfortunate color choice. So let's see what we can get. If you double click on that little box, you get a purple. And then double click on the other one. We want bluish or darker color there. That way you can really see what I'm doing. Okay, so it's already set to radial gradient. And if I click off of it, you can see it doesn't necessarily look round. But if I go to, I'm going to reselect it. I'm going to go to the gradient tool. And you can see there's a little handle. If you click on this and just move it around, you'll see that the highlight will move. And as long as you don't put it right on the edge, you get a nice uh, sphere shape. So that looks good. I think I'm going to add another color, a lighter one, to get a real pop. So you see now it, um, it's amazing. It looks, that might be a bit much. It looks um, like a three-dimensional uh, grape. So I might still play with that a little bit more, but you get the idea. The other thing to do is when you get um, a shade that you like, you know, copy and paste them like you did. Tweak the sizes because they wouldn't all be the same size. So just play with scale a little bit, make some fat, make some thin, etc. But one thing you want to do is you're going to want all the highlights to go in the same direction, right? So if the sun was hitting, um, you might need to go and adjust individual gradients with the gradient tool. Okay, does that make sense? Let me know if you have any questions.